In this video, we are going to look at connecting your custom domain to your system.io landing pages. So you can see on the left hand side, I've got my domain registrar open. For most of you, you would have purchased your custom domain through Namecheap or GoDaddy or perhaps Porkbun, which is what I'm using here, Porkbun on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, I've got system.io open. Now, what do I mean by connecting a custom domain? If you haven't connected a custom domain to system.io, when you go to a particular landing page, you will see that the URL path says something like, I'm going to expand this a little bit. You'll see that the URL path says something like uh, the name that you use to sign up to system.io dot system.io. So can, can you see that this URL is branded to system.io? As a coach running your own business, you want to use your own branding. So for instance, you know, you, uh, this one could say Andrew Low, uh, dot one slash landing page, which is the um, domain that I want to attach it to. So if you look on my left hand side, you'll see all the domains that I own. And there's one here called Andrew Low dot one. And at the moment, if I were to go to that domain, it points to nothing. I purchased it, but I haven't pointed it to anything yet. And I'd like to point this andrewlow.1 to the landing pages in system.io. And that's what we're doing today. Cool. Uh, you've got Pogbun on the left and I've logged in and I've got system.io on the right and I've logged into it as well. First things first, I'm going to go to the avatar here on the top right and click on settings. Then across the left hand side, you'll see custom domains. Click on that. And then it'll show you the custom domains that you've assigned. Now, I've actually assigned three custom domains already, actually two, two custom domains already because this is system.io's custom domain. So I'm going to add a new one by clicking on add domain. Which domain? It's this one here called andrewlaw.one. So I'm going to copy that. So I don't make any typos. I'm just going to copy that and then come over here to the domain name. Now, this is important. Make sure you include www and then paste that domain name. So be sure to include www dot and then the domain name and then save it. And you'll see it pop up to say that in order to configure that domain, you need to add two C name records to that custom domain. Beautiful. I'm going to go to Pogbun. And as I hover below andrewlaw.1, I'll see DNS. Click on that and that opens up a pop-up window for you to manage your DNS records. So first things first, I'm going to um, check that uh, I need a CNAME record. So CNAME record and then the host needs to be www.andrewlow.one. So the host is that's andrewlow.one is already here. I just need it to be www. So this corresponds to the left hand side. And then the answer is what you need to include from the right hand side. So I'm going to copy what's on the right hand side here and then paste it in the answer. Beautiful. So if you look at it, C name record, C name record. Left hand side, www.andrewlow.one, www.andrewlow.one. Yeah. Right hand side, D11 and it ends in .net. The answer D11 and ends in .NET. So that's set up properly. I can click on add now to add that C name record. So if you look down the bottom, you'll see a C name record left hand side equals to right hand side. And it's a C name record. C name, C name. Beautiful. Now let's do it for the next C name record. So this time, uh, it's this whole string of numbers and letters. So I'm just going to copy that. Paste it here. It's also a C name record. Paste. And then paste the right hand side. Paste it in the answer. Beautiful. So left hand side. Left hand side. Right hand side. Right hand side. C name record and add. So now you can see we've added the two C name records as specified by system.io. So I'm going to close it now. And then you can see that it says pending validation. I can refresh that for a little bit. Usually it takes a couple of hours, sometimes shorter for that domain name to propagate to system.io. 
Now, if you want step-by-step -step instructions, you can click on show instructions here, and that opens up um, uh, the, the two C name records again, plus a link that says read this article to learn how to set up a custom domain. So you can click on that and that opens up the help article. Uh, but essentially, uh, what I've shown you is what's detailed in this help article. Now, there's one thing you can do to check that you've done it right. What you can do is, as you scroll down, you'll see there's a link here for a DNS checker. I can click on that and then change it to CNAME. I'm just going to change it to CNAME and then just go www plus your custom domain. In my case, it's andrewlow.1 and I'm just going to search it and you'll see it's now linked to D11 with ending in .NET, which is D11 ending .NET. So it's been set up correctly, but it just takes a little while for system.io to recognize it. So I'm going to refresh it again and see if it's done. Still not done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done to show you what the next steps are. A few moments later. Okay, we're back and you can see it took less than an hour before it's set now ready to use. Beautiful. So now we know that this domain is attached to system.io and it's ready to use. What do we do now? We can go to our funnel, go to our landing page, and at the moment it's still uh, attached to system.io's domain. We want to change that. We can easily go to funnel settings, click on that, and under funnel domain, if you click on the drop down arrow, you'll see a few options. And one of it is the domain that we've just attached, which is www.andrewlow.one. I'm going to click on that, put save. Beautiful. And now it says the URL path is www.andrewlow.one slash landing page. Beautiful. That's what we want. I'm going to copy that. Yeah. And then click on a new tab, paste it. And you'll see it says andrewlow.one slash landing page and it's taken me to my landing page. So it just shows now that uh, system.io can use my custom domain to point to the landing page that it, pages that it creates. Beautiful. Okay, so that's done. One more step to go. I want you to go back to your domain registrar. Yeah, and then you can see this domain is the one that we've been working on. Click on details. Then click on URL forwarding. Here, yep, yeah. click on the little pencil icon next to it and leave the host name blank and forward traffic to www.andrewlow. If I can type andrewlow.1, well, or whatever your custom domain is, and just click submit and check that you've included a current forwards of a blank host into a www destination, and now you are done. Beautiful. Congratulations. You have now pointed your custom domain to system.io. And from now on, when you build landing pages in system.io, all you need to do is to click on funnel settings, choose the domain that you want to point it to, give it an appropriate name, and then you'll have branded landing page URLs. Enjoy. Bye for now.